tells me it's live. There we go. Now it's live. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Debra. Sorry, I'm having technical problems. All right, here we are. Um, do the camera thing. Greasel, it's Max, and we're back. We're doing a thing. We're doing a live stream just for because we feel like doing it. Probably won't be doing one tomorrow. Um, a lot of people have been asking about that, and probably not going to do it. I'm doing my own thing, and so that's where it is. I also want to talk about you know my last video i put up i put it up the the, the christian paganism thing with um christmas and stuff like that a lot of people didn't like that I and mean, it thumbs me down well go for it that's all i can say about that go for it i'm just putting the information out there nobody deal with that um I also want to talk about Patreon. <laughs> oh man. Patreon came back to me and said, yeah, everything in your channel is good. And we have no problems with you. So anybody who is like worried about donating or doing anything with Patreon, completely fine. Patreon is like, yeah, these people messing with your nothing. <laughs> and that's patreon so there we go yeah <laughs> i just i just want to let everyone know and uh uh what i was what i was doing um yeah deb gill thought so well you never know you never know what people and it kind of depends on um the uh person who you get to actually take care of your case whatever ticket we called them tickets back in the day but it's pretty funny <laughs> like yeah there's nothing there there you go i was instantly as soon as that ticket went in they instantly uh said that i was good to go so yeah my stuff on patreon about brian is fine all you all you idiots out there who think you can stop me from teaching against your heresy all you people out there who think that you can stop me from teaching against your heresy i have um non-christian people back at me <laughs> i mean like Come on. Come on. Really have to go out on a limb. You really have to go out on a limb. Guys with uh, Nazi flags in their background and stuff. <laughs> you got you got dudes saying interracial marriage is a sin. And all this stuff is like Whoa. and these guys aren't kicked off Patreon, but I am? No, Patreon came to me and said, no. <laughs> You're all good. Everything you said was totally cool. <laughs> ha! There you go, Brian. Suck it. <laughs> I just wanted to come up and talk about this a little bit because I'm a little bit elated. Not because of the little bit of money that I'm going to be getting because of the Patreon thing. It's because it's obvious 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 that you know people support what i am saying and a lot of other people are out there are saying and it doesn't have to be monetary it doesn't have to be monetary and when brian was kicked off of patreon the first thing he said was they're all a bunch of sodomites because they use a rainbow for their colors Didn't stop you from signing up for Patreon, did it? 
But when he was kicked off, it was a big deal. It's a business. It's a business that does. It, it fills a certain gap. That's what it does. It's all against Christianity, according to Brian. It's craziness. It's absolutely craziness. Um, you know, now that I know my Patreon page is going to be up forever. <laughs> you know, I have some disputes with these people and I am good to go. All right. So that's how it is. Everything on my page is good to go. There is no crap on there. There is no, uh, nothing in genuine. I should say. So what I will do, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I I'm trying to stop that thing that I'm saying. I don't know because I say it a lot. It's my own personality. Um, what I'm going to say about, you know, Patreon and uh, stuff like that. I have, I have to stop seeing stuff like that too. Um, what I have to say about that though, is that it's free. Okay. Patreon. And then Max Bauer, just look for me. A lot of free stuff up there. Just go do that. Okay. <laughs> That's the whole thing. I put a lot of time into that stuff. If you want to watch uh, Max do, uh, uh, I did it tonight, actually, karaoke. If you want Max doing karaoke, teach you how to sing, we'll do that too. As far as this whole thing goes, it was very upsetting to me that it's been, what is it? It's the 10th of the month and Patreon's like, we're not going to give you money because we think there's suspicious activity on your account. And I emailed them. And I'm like, would you define that for me? And they came back to me and said, yeah, these guys are a bunch of dumbasses. Victoria, uh, Valerie, you can't ding me on that. That was the literal connotation. Can't ding me on that. So, yeah, the people are out to get me. <laughs> That's how it is. How it is. No biggie. No biggie. Most of the things that I do on uh, Patreon are on my uh, main channel. So, it doesn't really matter. All right. Theodora, how you doing? So tonight, I just want to let everyone know that, you know, my Patreon is safe. <laughs> it's safe. And I'm still doing my stuff. I have actually... Um, one satire video in the works right now. Just got to transfer it around a little bit. And um, I was amazed the fact that they came back to me and said, yeah, they in the email pretty much said that everyone was full of crap and I'm good to go. So <laughs> all you Denlinger rights out there. Have fun, man. Have fun. You try and get me. <laughs> you ain't gonna get me uh, uh, Brian Dunninger is a uh, what you would call a um, um, like national persona or something like that he gave out his personal information he gives out his address he gives out all of his stuff and he has done that in his videos for 10 years that's not the same as me not, not at all <laughs> somebody doxes me I was like where did that come from it's because it's privileged information Brian Dunlinger and those other people whatever that I have on Patreon no those guys have been out there for 10 years 
Obviously not. It's crazy. Oh, oh, oh. Man, I almost forgot. Um, everybody hates me now. Um, I put out a video like five or six hours ago talking about uh, the Christmas and the paganism traditions behind it. And I lost like five subscribers, like instantly. I don't really care, but it's like, it's interesting that people don't want to hear that. Everybody in Christianity preaches that it's based on a pagan holiday. Everybody. I haven't met anybody who says that it's not. But I guess people don't like it. Maybe I said a bad word. I doubt it. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. You know, it's hard for me. You know, I'm sorry. It's hard for me to uh, do a live stream by myself and keep my thoughts collected as much. But, you know, that's how it is. I wanted to do this live stream because I'm really happy. Um, I put a lot of work into Patreon. Um, I put more work into Patreon than I do actually my regular channel. So if that thing just disappeared one day, <laughs> I'd be kind of ticked. I'd be like, wow, I just wasted six months. You know, that's that's how it is. That's how it is with that. But Patreon told me that I'm I'm good to go when I'm golden. So I'm very happy. I'm doing my live stream. I don't know, uh Linda, I think Brian wants to copyright Max with this German dog. I thought the exact same thing. And I already have a satire video coming up. <laughs> it's going to be a while. It's going to be a little while. I'm rebuilding a computer in the meantime and doing some other stuff, but I have already recorded the footage. It's already there. It's already there. Um, if anyone wants to come on, I don't know. What do we have here? 20 people, something like that. If anyone wants to come on, go ahead and come on. Uh, I, it's very rare that I do this and it's only because I'm not going to do anything tomorrow. I'm not going to have uh Robert, I'm not going to have Brett. Um, not going to have Valerie. I can probably won't do a video. The information for me came in today about how they just like, yep, your Patreon's fine. And the people accusing you of whatever are douchebags. Okay. That's what it came in. So just letting everybody know. Not like everything revolves around Patreon, but pretty funny. <laughs> That's uh, pretty funny. That's pretty funny. All right. So. Dude, I'm going to make Sky Everlasting. I am going to make soccer puppets. And that's going to be my new meme thing. I'm going to have. I'm gonna, I'm working on puppets. I'm working on a lot of things. <laughs> I'd like to do puppets. Puppets would be easy. I, I'm in Glencoe. I can't afford actors. All right, there you go for uh, people who want to join chat. Otherwise, I really don't have too much else to say other than the fact that we beat to death Brian Dellinger. We beat to death all his little minions. We beat him to death. <laughs> he has nothing. He has nothing. Yeah, try and stop me. <laughs> he had nothing. He had nothing. Comes back. The Patreon comes back. It goes... Yeah, it's all a bunch of nah, it's all a bunch of nonsense claims against you.
Oh, and I want to, uh, in uh, commemoration of that, I want to say that uh, the last video I just did, my most recent video on Patreon, is open. Anyone goes to patreon.com and searches for Max Bauer, you can just watch the video for free. It's not locked. It's not nothing. You can go watch it. And it's me doing karaoke. All right? That's what you're going to get. Me doing karaoke. Obviously, that must break terms of service somehow. <laughs> Everyone's going to go out and go after me. Ridiculous. It's ridiculous. What's up, Jason? It's summertime down there, isn't it? Yeah, Jason, you're you're sitting in the summertime. Creepy Amish caveman. Now you're giving me more ideas. Jay, don't give me more ideas. You just have to see how crazy Max gets. Wow. All right, so checking email here. someone who wants to find the hangouts link i think i sent it well, i'll try again you know this is um not easy to do by myself okay so if it's a bad production don't blame me all right. It's a lot easier to do when I can produce and have other people on here. So. So it's, so it's, I have to go around and copy and paste and do all this stuff. All right. High Church Anglican, you're ready to go. Check your email. Very humid there. Yeah, you're in uh, Summerland, Bill. Jason, I'm going to go down there and sleep on your couch. What do you think about that? I'm going to come down there and sleep on your couch. I'm going to get chicken. I'm going to eat all myself. That's what I'm going to do. It's been very hot. <laughs> Below zero out here. It's been very hot. You people complaining that you're sweating. It's craziness. Ah, uh, Jason, yeah, I'll send you a link. It's going to take me a while. I have to figure out how all this works. think that's it like i said it's pretty hard to go between um google hangouts and what i'm doing
I think those links work. I don't know. If they don't work, I'll I'll resend them. It's you know a new thing for me to you know host a live stream for you know by myself without a, really a topic. I just want to come out and say that I beat those Denlingerites down to the ground, and even the secular world out there says that this guy is an idiot, and they support me. That's all I can say about it. It's like, there we go. <laughs> I got nothing else to say. Good luck, Brian. Good luck, man. <laughs> oh, and people don't like, oh, yeah, that was the main thing. The other thing. I was going to talk about tonight was uh, the the Christmas, uh, you know, theology behind that and uh, the whole. This is distracting me a lot. OK, I have two screens in case you didn't know um, the whole thing with the uh, theology with Christmas and the pagan roots and stuff like that. I've been through this many a times in my channel. I did another video on that and people were like surprised and they're like, Oh, unsubscribe, unsubscribe, unsubscribe. And I'm like, oh, I've kind of been doing that for the entirety of my channel. Hi, Max. Hey, what's up, Jason? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I just got home a short while ago from sh sh shopping. Yeah. I'm sure it's like seven in the morning now for you. And it's uh, eleven fifty three um, on uh, Tuesday uh, m morning late. Or, or You're almost. A future man. You're a future man. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Um, it's almost m midday here. Yeah. Well, for me, it's nighttime. You're in the yep. future. <laughs> Tell me what's going to happen with my life tomorrow. I don't know, mate. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In 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 uh, LA, it'll be uh, nearly five o'clock on Monday afternoon. Uh, yeah, yeah. In in um, London, it'll be nearly one a.m. on on the Tuesday m morning. There, I, I've I've set. I, I've got three clocks on my c c computer. Sydney, London, and LA. Oh, what about Glencoe, man? You're forgetting about Glencoe. Um, I presume a further t two hours, so you say n nearly seven o'clock uh, uh, on Monday night um, over there. Jesus Christ only hears your prayers if you're praying on Central Time. <laughs> 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 right? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> You know what's right. <laughs> <laughs> Green Zolts, Jason. Yeah. Australia. Um, yep. I'm, I'm on the live chat thing, so I'm not on the YouTube thing, so I can't read people's co co comments on the live chat. Oh, you, you have two uh, monitors? No, because I, I'm on the Google uh, uh, one. And right, on but... The, you have it on our monitor. If I go back, uh, I can see you, you're on the F Firefox one. Oh, well, yeah. If you just bring up another window, you can see the chat. Yep. But but right. I've, I've muted the uh, YouTube one because uh, it's it's easy to just having one v v v volume. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I'm sure your your microphone is running through like a laptop or something like that. Uh, no, through the camera is yeah, a, a in my, uh, on the um. I don't have the laptop. The um, yeah. uh, uh, that's the uh, screen, and then f further down, that's my uh, c c computer. Yeah. Well, you're pretty well set up. Compared to me, pretty good. Oh, everyone's talking about KFC now. Oh man, yeah, I love 
Did you go out to KFC? No, yeah, the, the other week I did. That's my thing now. Here we go. Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the other week I I, I did. I, I used to work at K KFC uh, a long time ago, and I, I, I used to have KFC almost every day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's probably not a good idea. It's probably yeah. not good for your health to do that. <laughs> But it's not going to kill you for certain. But, but it is addictive. I can. Oh I yeah, can, MSG. Cooking, cooking in the flour and and, and all that. The smell of the ch ch chicken there all, 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 all day. The uh, uh, original re recipe smell. So oh, no. it, extra it, crispy. Yeah, yeah. Extra I, crispy, I love man. the orig original. I, I'm, I'm in a. I like the original recipe. No. Flavor. Extra crispy. That's all we have in America. Yeah, we don't have that in Australia. Extra. Yeah, you crispy. don't. That's why you're trying to yeah. evade. Just ask but, but, but but we've got hot and spicy in Australia as well. Um. Yeah. Um. Uh. uh they have original for fillet. Uh, Australian KFC. On now, yep. Yeah. Uh, hello. <laughs> You're fine. Yeah, you know, I'm just trying to say hello to to, to the. Uh, oh, hi, mate. Hello. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Oh man, hey, how's it going? I even noticed that. How are you doing? A good. I changed the name of my channel. I was originally yeah, Air Pride. Yeah, 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 yeah. I I brought that up in my last video. I'm like, who's this guy? I think I know him, but I don't really think I know him. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I, I've been fighting off uh, lots of weird teachers and uh, um, uh, just people who don't into logic. Oh, all right. So right now, your current um, name that you're going to go with right now is going to be? It's the High Church Anglican. That's what I changed my name to. All right. Okay. Now I know, because you were somebody. You were somebody else before. All right. What do you have to think about um, the whole Christmas idea and the pagan ideology about that? Uh, uh, is the other guy gone? Yeah, the other guy's gone. So, so it's it's just me. Yeah, you know, I was watching. What do you think about it? Your your, your video. I don't have a Christmas tree, uh, Max. It's it's on my, on my own now. Anyway. It's summertime for you, man. You're going to be playing in the sun. You're going to be out on the beach with your shirt off and you have your little tidy whiteies it, on. Uh, You're running out in the salt water. I'll, I'll be I'll be uh, I'll have the best of both worlds on Christmas Day. Um. Uh, um, I'll be early in the morning on Christmas Day. I'll be cooking a, a leg of lamb, um, and a lot of cookies, and a lot of milk, carrots, for, and gravy, peas. Um, <laughs> I, I, I enjoy that. And 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 uh, uh, then Jan, uh, a, a friend of mine, uh, Jan and Graham are gonna p p pick me up, and will we, we, we go to her son's place for? Christmas for the day, and they got a s swimming pool there. So, yeah. so, so I'll have the best of both worlds: a Christmas meal there and a Christmas he meal here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is there anything about that um, that you think is satanic or condemned in the Bible? The fact that you want to get together with family? Oh, uh, I don't th think so. No, no. I don't see it either. Yep. So. That's how it is. That's the way we look at stuff. You know, yep. I think that uh, a lot of people look at the last video I did and, and they watched the first five minutes. And I said straight off the bat, I'm like, you, you can celebrate whatever the heck you want to. Yep. 
Yep. I said that right off the bat. Yep. But I do go into all these things proving that uh, everything about the holiday is a paganistic thing. Yep. But if you're not worshiping the pagan, whatever the heck they're worshiping, <laughs> it doesn't really matter. It's yep. you look at it like this is a time where I really need to make time for my family. That's a good thing. Yep. This is a time where I really need to go in and go think about God. This is a time where I really need to go in there and think about my own family. Does it matter that it happens on a pagan holiday? No. Nah. Doesn't matter at all. Yep. Doesn't matter at all. And but I can see it from my my subs going. <laughs> everyone's like, oh, this guy. He's a pagan. Yeah, pagan. I don't care about Santa. Christmas is more about Jesus. That that's yeah. what what I think of c c c Christmas because anyway, w w without the birth of Jesus, he couldn't die on the cross. So so there had to be a birth first. So mm -hmm. so and and then he died for for our sins and and i believe that and and i have faith in him in in what he's done for for me and there we go yep so there we go i think that is the hangouts link for anybody who wants to come on it's gonna be a free for all now for about 10 minutes <laughs> never can come on and be free for all um i put out two videos in the last day i have another one coming out now and oh man they're fun <laughs> i was gonna say they're fun and the whole patreon thing is a blessing on my back it's like not because of the money it's for the fact that a secular organization out there actually appreciates what i'm doing and that i'm not doing anything wrong to do anything to break any rules i am completely abiding by the rules good good and they're like yeah go off and go do it go off and go do what you're doing so and and i say something to denling is uh for followers that they lost there they yeah they did they, they lost completely <laughs> <laughs> they lost completely um i i uh, apparently you know i don't know this for a fact but apparently what he did to me shut down his patreon yeah i don't know this for a fact okay yep but that's what brian denlinger said is that i <laughs> shut down his patreon probably part of it m maybe all the cases because i kept on complaining to patreon about brian doxing yeah. people and oh man it wasn't just me he had three yeah, or four I people he was doxing the crap out of and you know going up into my background is no big deal to me because that's like 10 12 years in the background i don't care about that he is doxing people that actually gave him money within the last year this is your current address this is your current phone number this is your name yep you can't do that stuff man you can't yep. do and that I, i've still got screenshot photos of of the person he uh banned on on his vivid video from because they didn't want to uh um in, any more uh uh pay so he was banned and and then he gave out uh his uh followers uh the personal address email address yeah. phone number absolutely, absolutely oh yeah and then the funniest part about right. that is he blocked out his own information yep locked out his own information about where you could contact him i yep. mean how much of a dirt bag now i can see somebody like myself who's going to make a spur of the moment i'm mad and i'm going to make a spur of the moment video and i'll put all the information up in order to go back and block out my own stuff i actually have to preconceive that and bring it into an editing software and yep. block it out and take a lot of time to block out my own information and then render it and then put it up. It's not like it's something that's off the cuff. You know, I do things off the cuff all the time. That yep. is not off the cuff. That is, I want this guy to be, you know, all condemned under God. But all my information is blacked out so you can't contact me and you can't email me. I mean, yep. that is a 
that is a really bad thing. Really bad thing. And and it it seems to me that Brian is using uh, any people, any of his f f followers, even to to buy a puppy f f for his oh, son. Oh man, the puppy thing. <laughs> oh, I, I have a whole I have a whole video on that. <laughs> it's coming out, man. It's gonna Good. be my satire. I got my video you, coming out in the puppy. I'm We're gonna talking be about the puppy. Yep. <laughs> my donations don't go to the puppy. You know the donations go to the food in your mouth, in your puppy's mouth, in your child's mouth. That <laughs> were the donations. The, what an idiot! Yep. What an and idiot! You, you know why he's doing that? You know why this guy is doing that? He's doing that because I came out with the video and said, "I am doing this with my money." Okay, you know the donations that come in. I said it I, basically exactly how much is coming in, and I'm doing this, and uh, I'm buying Bibles. And I'm rebuilding some of my computer and I bought a stand for, you know, whatever. And I also have long distance on my phone that I have to pay for now. And then uh, Netflix or Pure Flix. I have to pay for Pure, Pure Flix. And that's where the donations go. And I went through all this stuff. And then Brian comes up with a video a day later says, well, we got a puppy in the donations. They aren't paying for the puppy. And it's like, Brian, you don't have a job. And here's your wife. What? Wh who paid for the puppy? <laughs> of who paid for the puppy? Donations. I guess. See, I've never g g given them a cent, and I never will. Yep. Oh, and I want to let you know that um, David Wood is not available. So I just want to okay. let you know that. Okay. Oh well, that's that's life. Is Rob Skiba. I. Huh? I, neither is Rob Skiba. Both of them are kind of out right now. Okay. Oh, well, that's life. Yep. That's life. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Um, uh, I presume you, uh, Robin and uh, Brad will be back on s sometime in the new year. Um, we're planning, you know, for the new year, but you know, in the meantime, I'm, I'm going to do, um, uh, what I do. Robert's going to keep doing what he does. This is yep. kind of an aside for him and Brett, this is something that is more of like a job probably to him. Yep. It's not something he plans to do or wants to do. It's just something that, you know, is it whatever you know i i know about what's going on in his life and and things like that and that's why i keep posting the link for people to come on because if you want to come on and uh, do a live stream with me that's fine yeah and i'll keep posting it if yep. you're a dirt bag i'll kick you out yep um if you're decent yeah, I'm not going to be a dirt bag anyway no thanks oh, come on i've known you for like 2 years come on man yep <laughs> um, but you can come on and you can come on yep. and do a live stream and, and put your input in. Yep. No problem with that. If you have yep. ideas for live streams, you want to do live streams. Yep. I have a, a platform and a format that's been going now for a year for live streams. You can bring it up and it's fine. You can come on right now. I'll, I'll post a link in a couple of minutes, but yep. the, the caveat is that you need to give me your phone number so I can call you up and talk to you about what you're going to talk about yep. and we can have a discussion. That's it. Okay. That's it. And I'm not willing to have somebody just go crazy on my channel because I've been on live streams when I first started this a couple of years ago, I didn't do my own live streams. I was on other people's live stream and they, you know, we'd have a discussion and we have a topic. And then all of a sudden the topic would go from, oh, we have such and such on our channel now. We're going to change the topic now to dealing about this. And it's like, well, I'm not prepared for that. How can I sit there? Some random guy comes in. We're going to talk about Hebrew roots now. We're talking about faith alone. And they're going to bring Hebrew roots guy in there. I didn't know about that. Yeah. And you have these... The, 
these situations like that where you're blindsiding people and you make everybody look really stupid. I'm not going to do that on my channel. Just not um, going to be very well moderated. You can yeah. talk about whatever you want to. You can talk about whatever you want to. Just let me know about it. <laughs> yes. So, oh, on the on the uh, live streams, like it's like anything. Like I'm happy to come and say hello, like I'm do, do doing now. But when it's uh, teaching stuff, I'm I'm learning as I'm going. I don't think I'm qualified to teach. Right. You don't put yourself up to be a teacher. No. Yeah. And there's no problem with that. Yep. That's fine. But there's a lot of people out there who don't know crap who put themselves up to be like, oh, I am the Messiah. I come down from heaven and all this stuff. And that's, um, I'm not going to deal with that. <laughs> that's, why, that's why, you know, I, I have, I actually, uh, my donation money goes to anybody in the world can call me. Yep. And I can call anybody in North South America back for free. Okay. That's how it is. Yep. And that's the way that I work things. Yep. If you don't like it, then go away. Go away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So I think, I think that's my Hangouts thing. It seems like a long link. I don't know if that, if that works or not. If it doesn't work, let me know. Anyone who wants to come on. It's pretty easy. All you need is a microphone. And come on and uh, go talk a little bit. Otherwise, I think we cover pretty much everything. Go to um, uh, my Patreon. And I opened up my most recent video for free. I don't like I said, my Patreon is basically free. I have like 60 videos up there. Most of them are free. You can just go to patreon.com, search Max Bauer. Stuff is free. If you choose to support me in what I'm doing, that's your own choice. That's how it is. JW. And and I've got concerns. Uh with a guy in Maine, he says he wants to make all the his videos uh, on a special d d device or whatever, uh, even the ones banned from YouTube, oh, yeah. available for, for, for people to download or whatever to buy, yep. including your doxing, which is a big concern. Yeah, <laughs> I made a video about that. Um, you know, I mean, I'm going to, I guess I'll have to do this again. Yep. I am not concerned with who I, what this guy says about me. Yep. I am not really concerned about who I am, what he digs up about my past. Yep. The point is, is that he only knew that information because I donated to his ministry. Yep. That is a big thing. That is it. All right. If you want to donate to his ministry and you decide you don't like him anymore, he will dox you. Guaranteed. Yep. And we've got like, what, three or four videos on the internet? And we got, I don't want to even say the names anymore because they're trying to get away from that. Yep. I mean, you've got people all over the place that are getting doxed by this guy, but call him out as a heretic. I'm not, I'm not really ashamed of who I am. But as far as people know me, I am Max Bauer. That is it. Yep, I'd rather call you Max. Yeah. See, uh, nice and easy. Yeah, well, makes it easier for me. I only <laughs> have like a couple of accounts on, you know, I don't expect the gas station for a job interview to call me Max. Yep. It makes it, it makes it, uh, things easier for me and you know, it's it just very incredibly disrespectful where you really have to be an incredible scumbag to do something like that, where you have people's personal information. You know, I have a lot of people's personal information. A lot. Yep. Do you think that I'm going to go on the Internet and go talk about and I'm going to Google what their name is? I'm going to Google up what what 
where they've been around the block. I'm going to Google up them. Why would I do that? That's just so stupid. Yep. It's very, um, what do you call it? Um, I trite isn't the word, but, uh, it's one of those things where you think you're better than them. That and sort of that's thing. That's what the guy from Maine thinks he is. Oh the yeah. Poor. Oh man, he's the perfect person. Haven't you <laughs> figured that out yet, man? He's the perfect person. <laughs> I conquered these sins, therefore a Christian can't do these sins. Ed just did a video about it, and he's <laughs> completely correct. Yeah. He said, uh, you know, and brought uh so-and-so <laughs> did a video where these are the nine sins you can't commit if you're a Christian. <laughs> it's like, oh, those are the nine sins that you don't commit, therefore. And it doesn't say therefore. that in the Bible. Oh, yeah, Bob, what the Bible? The oh, King no, We have no Bible citations anywhere in there, man. We can't do that. We can't do that. All I can do is I was looking to say. All I got is from the King James Bible. It's right here in the Word. Where in the Word? It's right here somewhere. I just want to flip around. It's somewhere in here. <laughs> For people with no common sense. <laughs> and uh, that's bad. In, I think at least. Um, 2016, he started threatening to give out people's. Uh, personal information uh, because if people do the wrong thing but, but buy him on his website and that was in 2016 and I said I said to to, to to Brian if he he did that to me right then then I would have no choice but I would make a Brian Denling a Twitter account a Facebook account and mm -hmm. Until yeah, I would have to do, do, do that. I don't want to, but if he wants to play hard hardball, I would. Yeah, and um, people are are saying that the problems that I had with Brian Denninger, um, I think I had like fifteen videos that were uh, flagged for community violations. Now my Patreon is flagged, of course, for community violations. They've all been dismissed goes after Good. ed finager all dismissed <laughs> that's that's what these people have they yep. really don't have a leg to stand on all yep. they have is a leg to stand on brian denninger yep and she, okay we're talking about faith in the bible and christianity here and we're saying that this guy doesn't believe like what are you saying he is a liar and a charlatan yep. now that's not against the law okay it's not uh, against the law for that guy to do that but this guy in response what does he do max power gave me money and i know his address and his real name i'm gonna put that on the internet um what what I know I know Brian Denlinger's address. I know Brian Denlinger's stuff. It is on the internet, but I'm not going to speak it out. This guy yeah. literally went out of his way. This donator gave me $1,000, and here's his real name, and here's his criminal history, and here's his background. And then he compared me to a pedophile. <laughs> I couldn't believe that. I'm like, when he did that, I'm like, okay, this guy's down. He's, he's, I'm going to smash the crap out of this guy. And then I realized that Brian Dunninger doesn't have a money. He doesn't have an income. He has no, um, he doesn't pay taxes and yep. he lives off the grid or pretends to live off the grid. And there's no way I'll get anything out of him. I'm going to spend $5,000 to go up there and go sue this guy. I mean, what a waste of time. And then when Brian comes back at me again and again and again, people tell me, well, see, you should have attacked him in the first place. And this is what God is doing to you because you didn't attack him in the first place. I'm like, 
Well, if God would give me $5,000 to go out there, <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. I don't know what to say about that. All you can do is make videos. And like I said, for the longest time, I'm done. I am done with the guy. Yep. But he is so funny. He is so funny. And I'm going to I'm gonna be Max Dungslinger till the cows come home. Because yep. this guy. And especially when he had a go at you, you, you were, were recently doxing you. And then, then you, you you said right now you you're not gonna let up on this guy, which is nope. quite cool. No, I'm not gonna let up on him, but I'm not gonna attack him in the same way that I normally would. Um, yep. I'm gonna attack him in the, you know, I I like entertainment. I've been moving out of doing strong doctrinal things unless it comes up, and and going into more to entertainment things. Yep, I'm already set up for doing entertainment stuff, and that's where i want to go on the channel and yep. brian denlinger hates it so bad that every time that i do one he changes up his routine a little bit it's funny when i have the suspenders and a belt i had suspenders a belt and then a belt across my chest and then the next video that that guy did he doesn't have any suspenders he just has a vest so yeah i'm getting another guy i'm getting Good. another guy and <laughs> i'm gonna keep getting another guy i'm gonna keep yep. doing it because I'm not doing anything wrong here. No. I'm just pointing out heresy. That's all I am doing. People can agree or disagree or whatever they want to do with it. Yep. I don't care. Yep. Don't care. Jeff. How's it going, Jeff? I think that's the link for the Hangouts. Um, I, I saw Ed's uh, most recent video about Brian making a commercial. Did you see that? Jason? Um, I'm just on the, th uh, I'm, I'm just on trying to read the c c comments. S s sorry, mate. Yeah. 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 I'm, I, I don't, um, what were you saying again, Max? I was saying, did you see the, um, commercial that brian made uh not sure yeah, it was he had a puppy oh uh, yeah 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 i saw the puppy vi vi video yep i have a puppy go to king james video ministries and give me money and and none of this money from gofundme goes to my puppy account who's feeding your it puppy who does. bought the puppy brian. you don't have a job <laughs> You're proud of not having a job. Who bought that thing? Yep. <laughs> oh, punk. Brian Delling is a phony. Yep. German puppy, my butt, Linda. No, 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 no. That thing is a little mongrel. Probably got her for free from somewhere. <laughs> Bill Urban Trout, I'd love to see how one of his fans is trying to come to show up at this house and see how brotherly the brother really is. I've talked about this too. Um, when I donated to him, we were planning on taking a trip and I was going to give the money to him in person. Uh, it was like around 2,000 miles, something like that, and we're driving. And I'm like, it's really not worth it. It's going to cost like a thousand dollars to get up there and back between hotels and stuff like that. We don't know if Brian's even going to let us in. And so whatever. So I had a week long conversation with Brian about trying to give this idiot money. And this guy is like, you're this guy from the Jesuits from LinkedIn. And I'm like, no, I'm really not. I just got an inheritance and thought it would benefit your ministry. Well, I think that you're this Jesuit from LinkedIn. And I'm like, dude, you said you had big things going. Um, I can prove who I am. Why don't you tell me these big things? Email response back. We're doing big things with the ministry. 
how are you not the guy on LinkedIn? So I gave him my real name. And guess what? Four years later, two years, well, th yeah, three or four years later, guy comes out and gets my personal information out. That's a pastor, man. That's a pastor. And he's not even qu qualified. <laughs> oh, who, who ordained this guy? <laughs> I mean, I literally have been to Bible school. Has this guy been to Bible school? You know, if, <laughs> if Brian actually went to Bible school, you know, he would tell you about it. You would know. He would sit there and say, I went down and listened to Peter Ruckman talk about blah, blah, blah. You know, he would do it because yeah. otherwise he has no standing. He has no nothing. Guy's a punk. 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 All right. He wants to come up. Go ahead and come up. Otherwise, I'm kind of done. I did my thing and um, people want to watch me be an, an idiot on uh, Patreon. I'm sorry. I'm trying to bring up the idiot tab. Idiot tab. There we go. Franco Stango. Hey, what's going on? I'll answer questions too here in a sec. Okay. Well, now that I know that my uh, Patreon's not going away, these are the kind of things. They're not really a Christian thing. They're just things that I do um, just to have fun. Okay. So there you have that. And uh, that'll be live at some point. But that's on Patreon. It's open. Patreon.com. You don't have to sign up for anything. Just search for Max Bauer. I'm going to be up there and you can see all the stuff that I do. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's funny business. Anyone has questions, go ahead and bring them up. Um, either myself or Jason. Jason, what are you running under the bill or something? Um, JC Swing 2. JC Swing. All right. 2. Yep. Oh, wow, I have to go way back up because I missed a bunch. Sorry, I have to re-chat. Normally, I have three people on here. Yep. KFC is in the Bible. Everyone loves their chicken. You know, when I go on the YouTube link, it's it's about a couple of seconds behind than the uh, this Google Hangout uh, thing. Oh yeah, yeah. It's at least a couple of seconds. Sky everlasting. Where did Thomas go? I'm not sure the exact question you're trying to make there. Bill Urban yep. Trump Rob's Kiba would be a good one to get um, the flat earth perspective on things. Yeah, well, I tried. The guy knows who I am. There's nothing. If he watches my videos, he'll know that I'm talking to him. Well, there's nothing I can really do about that. AJV believer Brian thinks it's okay to have a church building, but when other people do, there is a Jesuit to him. Only Brian can have a church building. Hypocrite. 
Brian can only have his own church building. He can't, there is no exception with that. And he has a GoFundMe right now to buy his church building that there will be no church. That's what's sad. You know, honestly, if I decided, you know, I went through seminary and everyone's ticked that I won't be a pastor and I won't go do this and I won't go do that. Well, if I went out like right now and said, okay, I'm going to be a pastor. I'm going to set up my church building right here and I'm going to teach this, that, you know, thing. And I'm going to have my stuff in my congregation. I could do a GoFundMe and yeah, that's what it's for. Brian says he refuses to have anybody near him. He refuses. He ain't building a church building. He's building a camper property or a second house, whatever you want to believe. That's what he is doing. It's the sickest and the saddest thing that I see his GoFundMe I think I, he had like $3,000 a couple of weeks ago. Last time I looked at it, I'm like, people are giving him that much money to be a lying dirtbag. Wow. Wow. I couldn't live with myself. And we don't really know what he's really doing. I don't trust the word, what he says. Well, that's the problem is like, I look at my conscience, all right? And I'm probably not the best guy in the world. Oh, newsflash. I'm probably not. But I would feel bad about myself to take money from people to buy vacation property. I dude, this really would make me unhappy. You know, I couldn't live with that. Brian Deniger, on the other hand, was like, Give me money, need a four-wheeler. I need money, got that rent property. Oh, I need money, need four-wheel drive ambulance. I need money, you know I can. Oh, what a sick bastard. That's a sick bastard. Uh. Unhappy with that. Unhappy with that. <laughs> Linda, Brian even docks the police officer. Yep. He's a dirtbag. All right, so that's what we have. I think. Oh, yeah, I'm a Jesuit, by the way. Obviously, if you disagree with me, it must be a Jesuit. I'm the Jesuit. I'm going to have a drink. All right, man. Well, I'm going to shut her down. Oh. Guy everlasting. Uh, Brian is living better than many people. Well, I tell you, I don't have 80 acres. I don't have two cars and I don't have a four wheel drive ambulance. I don't have a four wheeler. Just telling you. Guy, you can tell how they are living by their videos. They're not suffering. Their house is a lot better than mine. Yeah. But you don't need a sufferer to uh, preach. It's that whole asking for money thing. It's like, there is no reason. Um, I guess I'll use myself as an example. There is no reason that if you decide that you're going to go off and uh, 
to a Christian video channel, there is no, you're not on the clock. Okay. You can make videos whenever you feel like it. Whenever. No big deal. I choose to make videos when the spirit hits me and I'll make like three videos in a day. Just how it is. Or I might not make videos for a day or two. Um, but I am pretty consistent with what I am doing. You have guys like him who make videos that are basically advertisements for his channel. That's what they are. And telling you that um, you're a pagan and going to hell if you believe in the Trinity and the, all these weird doctrines that really only apply to a very um, small and what do you call it? Um, militant? I would call it militant group that calls themselves Christians. He's really applying himself to the neo-Nazis. That's what he is. He's really applying himself to the Nazi cult. Been doing that for a long time. But now he is ready to break out. He's ready to break out. Now that uh, Peter Ruckman is dead, no one can stop him. Because if Peter Ruckman was alive and Brian Denninger was recommending Peter Ruckman, Ruckman would come out and call him a dirtbag and call him a heretic and throw him under the bus. But I personally b b believe, Max, when, when uh, uh, at some p p point in time, uh, uh, Peter Ruckman will, will find out what Brian has done um, up in he heaven. I believe Ruckman saved. I don't know about Brian uh, yeah. whether he's saved or not. I don't re re really know, but we'll find out uh, at some point. Yeah, well, the point is that um, Brian is basically, his entire authority is based on Peter Ruckman teaching. His entire authority. And he had to wait until Peter Ruckman died for him to come out with his heresies. The stuff that he really believes. Because he knew, you know, he has videos of like how special it is to go visit Peter Ruckman and go watch him. He knew if he came out with that stuff, the stuff that he's coming out with now, he'd show up at Peter Ruckman's place and Peter Ruckman would be like, get out of my church. I don't want you here. You're you're not saved. Get out. That's a problem. That's a problem for a guy who his entire teaching and all these people give him all his money for is based on Peter Ruckman teaching. And you know, other people are, that are popular on the internet have Peter Ruckman teaching, but they're not going like that. Peter Ruckman didn't teach mortalism. Didn't teach that. It's craziness. It's all these things going on. I'm going to show it. I don't know why I hit it. Brian is probably a can do Adolf Hitler. Yeah, because he's really proud of his German heritage. Dumb bug. All right, that's what we got. So, I did my Christmas thing and uh, another thing. And I think with that, I don't have much else to say. What do you got to say, Jason? Nothing much. Oh, I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. All right. After Yep. Well, there we go. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and to all a good night. <laughs>